Hi all. Uh, just uh, I wanted to discuss with you people on uh, interview questions with respect to testing. Okay. Like, uh, for example, any four years experienced guy, he is sitting in front of me and uh, I would like to go through his profile. And I came to know that he's having four years of experience and uh, he can do work independently by by looking into his profile just i would i would like to have the discussion with me with him with respect to testing okay so let me start with him how i am going to i am going to ask him the questions and how i am expecting from him that is important if i ask him okay first question is i wanted to understand him first okay so I would like to know his experience. I would like to understand him more because he's, he's coming to my team and he's working with me. So be, uh, to know him, so just I would like to ask him, okay, can you explain about your experience and can you brief about you? He will start briefing. And the briefing of your experience should not be too lengthy should not be too lengthy so for example if they ask me hey uh guru uh can you brief about hi i am guru and i have been in industries from past four years and i am working from xyz company and i have a very good experience in qa i was uh leading one of the module and uh, we were uh, we were the company of providing the uh, QA services to the clients as well as we have an in-house project. I was working in the client and I was working in a finance sector where I was a QA member in one of the finance uh, project. That's it. Close. That. Then he will ask you, okay, uh, Guru, can you uh, tell me if I, if I give you one project for a testing what is your approach? How you wanted to do? And what is your thoughts? Can you explain me that? So he should explain him. Like like how much he is asking the question, you should give that much answer. Don't make it as big. And you may feel, right? If I tell him more answer, I may get selected. It is not like that. You should tell him what you know. You should tell him as short as possible. So indirectly, you are giving him a chance to ask a question where you knows. You are getting my point. Then you should you should tell him, okay, if I if you have given me the project, what is my approach? Means I will ask a certain questions in interview only. You in interview only you should tell him, okay, I will ask question. Is requirement document is available? Okay, if requirement document is available which domain it is okay can i get that particular requirement document so first i would like to understand about your product how it works and what are the how many functionality it has okay and who is the end user how they wanted to access everything i will ask him like okay we he will he will give you like okay we have a requirement document so you should tell him First, I wanted to go through the requirement document first. Let me understand the functionalities. So after that, after that, so if this, this project is totally new, it is starting from the scratch or, or it, is, it is available, all the things are available in place. Okay. So he will give you answer again. No, no, it is, uh, we are starting it from the scratch. Okay, then you should answer him. Okay, uh, once I understood the requirement document, I would like to go through the uh, scenario design. I would like to start designing the scenario. And before that, I would like to go through your plan. What are the plans it is available if you have designed? No, we don't have any plan. He will cross question. He would like to see the way of your approach, the way of giving him as an answer. He would like to see everything from you and he, indirectly, he is seeing you how best you are going to fit in his team. Okay. You should understand. And, and question by question, you, you are asking him all the valid questions. Okay. Because he is asking you only one question stating that what is your approach on testing? How you wanted to do? Correct. Right. So if it is from the scratch, 
let me understand the functionality let me design the scenario let me maintain the rtm with respect to scenario once it is approved i will start designing the cases again it will go for a review once review is done again i would like to design rtm with respect to uh, rtm with respect to test case design then i will wait for the build once build comes up we will do smoke testing then we will do sanity testing then we will start executing the functional test cases during execution of test cases i may come across with some defect i will raise the defect in the tool then i am going to send you the daily status report on a execution part so this is way i am going to do the testing on that particular project okay okay so again he may ask you the questions okay uh, guru can you tell me what are the challenges you have faced while doing a testing in your last organization so definitely yes sir we have faced a lot of challenges where documents were not available and process is not defined in my last organization the qa process is not exactly what we are expecting and we guided and we prepared our own understanding document on the product and we have taken an approval then we proceeded the testing activities okay so apart from this what are the challenges you have faced during during the testing so sometimes immediate requirements are getting changed means the business analyst and the customer were not in pre status they were confused with the requirement sometime they will change sometime they will add sometime they will remove at that time because of traceability matrix we were maintaining we made it as very easy to trace and we we will update and we can delete it out this is the process we followed whenever the requirements are getting changed frequently okay okay so if if your manager is telling uh, guru like uh, can you can you execute 300 test cases per a day and uh, we have urgent release so in this situation what is your opinion how you wanted to tell sir in these situations so we need to ask him okay 300 test cases per a day there is the scenarios we may come across so if server is down application could not able to access i cannot reach that target i'm not another thing if i am totally new to the domain it if it is my first cycle of execution i may not i may not meet my target okay these are the questions i will put in front of the manager then i will discuss with him how to proceed further it doesn't mean that i will accept everything i can do i cannot because i need to understand about the functionality about my experience so these are the okay good you tell me if i if you have 500 test cases one cycle you have completed execution cycle and you reported four defects okay defect have been fixed out now defect is fixed and it is on your name it has come to you in regression testing do you do you want to execute all 500 test cases or how you will do it what is your approach sir in this situation we will see the release date when we are going to release the product okay if i have a time to do the regression testing definitely i would like to go through and re execute all the test cases after my retesting of that particular defect if i doesn't have any time i will do the impact analysis means my defect which got fixed which may impact the rest of the functionality so i would like to do the impact analysis then i will catch hold of such test cases and i would like to re execute them and i wanted to make sure that the test cases which i am re executing which i am doing regression should not get impact because of this defect guys such questions i would like to discuss with you people even though with a management related question these are the questions very junior questions which i am discussing with you join with me i would like to discuss with you people in depth of interview questions all are real time and all are on agile methodology better you have a interaction with me i would like to help you out on interview thank you thanks a lot